Hi, and welcome to day 24. That's two dozen days of living sincerely. Um, you may be wondering what all those post-it notes are doing behind me. That's a good question. It has everything to do with what we're going to talk about today. Um, I actually got this fantastic idea from my daughter, Amanda, and a year or so ago she had posted them on her Facebook, telling her friends, hey, if you have any prayer requests, just let me know. I'm going to write it down on a post-it note, stick it up on my wall, and I'll pray for you. And that way I'll remember to pray for you. So, yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. So, I kind of thought I'd do the same thing. So... There's the beginning of my wall, and yeah, it's a little color-coded at this point. Um, the pink, my survivor sisters and brothers, and the blue are my little dragonfly survivor brothers and sisters, and the green on that wall is family stuff and then the green on the outsides are kind of just some you know temporary prayer requests like people looking for a job or stuff like that uh, Amanda and Gary are getting ready to leave for Wales and so they have um, trying to get their visa stuff all in order so that's one of those and trying to get their funds all in order, so that's one of those, stuff like that. So, yeah, um, it also kind of coincides with, you know, how I want to take down cancer today. Um, I mean, I gotta be honest, uh, my chief weapon is prayer, and I really believe in it. I believe that I'm here because of prayer. Don't want to offend anybody who doesn't believe in God or prayer or anything like that, but I hope it's okay that for me, it meant a lot to me when I was being diagnosed with cancer to have all my friends come to my house. I had 70, 80 people over at my house the night before my mastectomy and they prayed over me. and. I mean, I believe that was key in my, you know, victory, where I'm at right now. I believe they prayed for healing, and I believe that God healed me. And I'm very thankful for that, and thankful for friends who pray for me. And I do believe in paying it forward, and that's a little what that's all about. So... Yeah, I think there's a, a wailing wall in Jerusalem, and in The Secret Life of Bees, there was a kind of a prayer wall, and this is my kind of prayer wall. So, if you have a prayer request, I would totally dig praying for you, and I'd also especially love to hear if you ever got any answers to those prayers that I prayed for because you know like those up there those are two of my friends who are looking for jobs so I'm going to be excited when I can take those post-its off because they found their jobs and when Amanda's and Gary's visa stuff gets sorted out because like we're moving Tuesday, or they're moving Tuesday, we're leaving Tuesday. So, you know, on the edge here. But when it gets sorted out, I'm gonna shred that one because I know that's when, that one's been stressing them out. So yeah, and you know, another one up there is Travel Mercies for me, Amanda and Gary, Amanda. Gary and myself are traveling to Wales Tuesday, and that's what 
that prayer is for too. So when I get back, safe and sound, God willing, and Godspeed, I will take that down. And like I said, I'd be happy to fill these doors. I've got lots of space. Lots of space here. Uh, so send me your prayer requests. And I will pray for you. And I will also, so as not to offend my friends who don't necessarily have the same ideas and beliefs, um, send out good thoughts. And I do think karma is groovy and positivity and good vibes. I'm all about all of that. So yeah, peace out and go live sincerely, y'all.